All right, you guys, we are at the Goodwill, as you can see over there. I'm gonna head out in there for a couple hours and we're just gonna see what I can find. And then afterward, I'm going to a new place that I've never gone to, so stick around for that and I'll see you in the thrift store. First item right here, if you can see that, that is the Pride logo. See right there, these are an excellent fruit uh, boot brand. <laughs> Uh, definitely look out it for it, especially if it's like this. It can be worth a lot. This is probably going to be easy $100 for the boots. This is another excellent brand. Harley Davidson, as you can see there. They're super nice. They're asking $15 for these. Um, I would have gone for them, but as you can see, it looks like they had some melting on the shoe. Uh, it still feels fine, but I don't know. What do you all think? Comment down below if I should have gotten these or not. Uh, normally these probably go for 50, 60, maybe even more. So definitely look out for Harley Davidson boots. Another great brand. Some Colon Grand OS, as you can see in there. Pretty good shape too. Soles are pretty good still. Uh, doesn't look like I need to do a lot of work. Easy 35 bucks all day. They sell pretty consistently and uh, yeah, 35 bucks. Patagonia, and as you can see, it says Cinchilla on the tag. This is actually vintage. This is made in USA. Uh, it's probably a women's quarter zip. Should be an easy, I'd say, $40. Look out for sure when you find Cinchilla. Anything from it is worth a ton. You can find a crap, like a graphic on it. You can go for like upwards to 100, 120 bucks. So definitely look out for Cinchilla. Very, very good find right there. This is another excellent brand called John Barbados. Uh, I rarely find these. You can find button-up shirts, hangers, anything, coats especially. They sell really well. This is probably a $25-$30 shirt. The coats can go upwards for like 100 bucks. So, uh, very great brand to look out for right here. John Barbados. Like I said, uh, don't see it very often. So, definitely look out for that brand. All right. Here's a vent right here. This is a men's linen shirt. I'm tempted. Comps are kind of all over the place. I'm seeing anywhere from like 15 to 30. May or may not get them. And found another John Barbados. This one's really cool. It has zipper pockets on it. I'll probably get that for sure. Let's see about that vent. Vince is just super particular. Like I said before, the cashmere is really good. Um, the silk is decent as well, but I don't know about the linen. I don't know. I might pass on that. Let's see if there's any more um, Barbados real quick. Another great brand. James Pierce right there. You see, it's a nice woman's button neck. It's a size too, which I think is a medium or large though. Very good size right there. Should sell for say 25, 30 bucks. And we're having a John Paul Models day. Here's another one. Very nice, a button up. And it feels like a uh, viscose or something. I'm very old with this spandex. Same deal, this is 25, 30 bucks. That's awesome. All right, we're at this uh, new place I was talking about. It is called Daisy Exchange, if you could see right there. I guess there's several in Oklahoma, and I've never been to the one in Edmond, so we're just gonna see. I'm presuming it's gonna be a little bit like uh, Uptown Cheapskates, meaning a little bit higher priced, but still, you might find some really cool stuff, so we'll see. I'll be in there in a sec. First find so far, brand new. Seven bucks. It's a nice Tyro pant. Should be maybe 30 bucks. Awesome. All right, this is a Texans watch jersey. It's got a signature on it. No idea if it's real or not, but for 11 bucks, they're still going for like 40, 50. It's definitely an older jersey. I think I'll go for that. I'm gonna let you know exactly what we'll do with this. That's super cool. Hopefully that that signature is real. If it is, this could be worth a lot more than. 40, 50 bucks. All right, this is a very, very good brand to look out for. If you ever find this, it's called Bird Dogs. It's called Boom for your Boom Stick. 
pants. Sometimes they'll have them back here. For nine bucks, these should be easy, $40 a piece. I've already got one of them. I'm definitely gonna get this one with it. That is awesome. Let's see if there's any more of those in here. This is an awesome brand, Teddy Fresh. It's a little collab with SpongeBob. Three bucks, I guess. If you find anything with a blue or a red one, it's only three bucks. That's cool. I'll go for that. Let's see what other crazy things we got on the three dollar rack. It's a brand that I've never messed with before called Great uh, Brooklyn. Nine bucks, take a chance. They were going for around 40. Also got, sure, got another thing. Got these cloves as well for, what was it, like six? Those are like, uh, what do you call it? Nursing shoes. They should be easy, 30 bucks. Not bad. All right, we're at a different spot. We're at my storage unit at the moment, and I am just uh, pulling out some orders that are in here. I have 14 items to ship, and I think like six or seven are here. Uh, one of the items that sold was this really cool, these Bitty Pops, as you can see right here. There's a full set of them somewhere, yeah, right here. I think these are it. Full set right there, sold for $70. I'll show them my right side there. Very, very good find. I ended up getting these, I think for like five bucks a piece for just those little boxes at a Wal at Walmart. They were originally like 15 or 20 a piece and I ended up getting like 20 of them. And I made like two or three uh, complete sets. I ended up keeping one of them and then selling the other. So that was pretty awesome. And I've gotten several other things in totes and all. But uh, let's see, yeah, as you can see, got several items right there. Once they pay, I'll ship them out. Got some, got a little Jason plush. He sold, as you can see right there. The, and then I've got several other things in there as well. All right, and then after that, we're gonna head out to the next Goodwill, so stay tuned. All right, I'm at the last Goodwill, and I just got from a rack and found some good stuff. These are some women's prana shorts. Very nice, should be an easy 20 bucks. This is a women's scully button up. It's all embroidered, isn't that really cool looking? Made in Peru, that, that probably is an easy 30, 40 bucks. Scully is a really good brand to look out for. Found some I believe some aloe yoga. I'll double check to make sure that's real or not, but if so, that'd be awesome. And then last but not least, some brand new Columbia. Columbia price. Awesome right there. That'll be an easy 25 bucks. Excellent brand. Get more. These are the newer style. This is I believe it's called the Surge Shorts. Probably easy 30 bucks. Find newer stuff they can sell for a lot more than the uh, older items, so definitely look out for when it was made for sure. Another pretty good brand called Area. These are the M4 denim jeans. These are uh, men's. A little bit of wear here and there, but still should be easy 35 40 bucks. Uh, pretty good deal for the $9 jeans here in Goodwill. One of the few that I ever get, so. I look out for area jeans. It's always a good day when you find this brand, Designing Fisher. It's, uh, it says 15 bucks, but it's actually half off, so it's only 750. Uh, this is probably a disco top. It should sell for, I think, an easy 25, 30 bucks. You can get them for six, seven bucks. It's a great deal, and they sell pretty quickly as well. So definitely look out for Island Fisher. Brand called Torrid. If it's brand new, it's usually worth uh, usually worth it. Should be an easy 25 bucks plus shipping. I mess with these for years. They sell pretty consistently. Uh, if you ever find them brand new, that's the big key. Definitely snatch them for five six bucks. The used ones don't sell as well, so still go for that brand. Pretty awesome.
as you all saw, I went to those couple thrift stores and they ended up being really good. Man, those jerseys, especially one, the one with the signature, man, that was a really, really cool find. If that's real, that probably could be worth probably at least a hundred, maybe two hundred dollars. If you ever find a signature like that, uh, definitely look them up and make sure there's probably ways I'll try to find a way to see if it's authenticated. If it is, I'll maybe make a short showing it. Uh, as you saw, it was a very great hot, uh, just finds all together and a lot of great stuff. So if y'all like this video, just hit that like button. And if you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button because that'd be fantastic for us. And if you want to watch another video, I'll show it on my right side. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.